Hi everyone, in this video I just want to talk about some basic definitions or national income accounting identities we'll be using with the loanable funds model. And they're not terribly complicated, but they are kind of important. And they have mostly to do with uh, national savings. So we're just going to go ahead and, as a shorthand abbreviation, we're going to say national savings is the sum of two things. Private savings plus government savings. Now, depending on uh, what book you're using, you might see uh, this expressed as private savings plus public savings. So they're basically saying the public sector is the government. I like to use government because some people think of themselves as part of the public, and you know that can create confusion for some people. What's the difference between private savings and public savings? So I'm just going to use government. So for me, national savings S is the sum of savings done by private households plus savings done by the government. That's it. All right. So now, if we want to know what national savings is, we're going to actually have to talk about what savings is for each one of these sectors. So let's do the government first, because I think that's probably relatively easy. Savings by the government. Actually, you know what? Let's just do private savings first. So private savings. Now, private savings is going to equal all the income that gets generated in the private sector. So think of that capital Y as GDP or income. Any transfer payments that the private sector receives from the government. So remember transfer payments are things like unemployment benefits, welfare, social security. These are expenditures by the government for which the government does not get a good or service in exchange for. So all the income the private sector receives is income they earn, which is Y, plus transfer payments from the government. Now, from this, you're going to have taxes deducted. Okay? So, this part right here is actually disposable income. It's the part of your income that you actually get to decide what to do with. You get income from the um, private sector that you earn. That's why you get transfer payments from the government. But the government takes a chunk of that money away in the form of taxes, which we call T. T for taxes. Right? Now, whatever is left over after taxes, you can decide to do two things with it. You can either save it or you can consume it. So private savings is the difference between disposable income and what you decide to consume. Everything left over is considered private savings. So private savings is really just um, driven by, three th by four things. Income of households, transfer payments they receive by go the government, taxes that they have to pay the government, and consumption expenditures that households decide to make. Okay? Government savings is going to be a little different, but it's, a, it's analogous to that. So the government doesn't have income in the sense they're not paid market wages or anything like that, but they do have a source of revenue which we're going to call taxes. So government savings is all the taxes that they receive minus all the spending that they do. Now remember, there's two types of government spending. They can buy goods and services, roads, bridges, tanks, stuff like that, or they can make transfer payments. Unemployment benefits, welfare, social security, payments that the government's making for which they get no good or service in exchange for. So government savings is, is taxes minus all government expenditures or all government uh, spending. And we can rewrite that as this. Okay, so government savings is taxes minus government uh, spending on goods and services minus transfer payments. National savings then, and I'm running out of uh, room here, but I think I can fit it in. National, well actually let me just go ahead and erase this a little bit. That'll give me enough room to pull it off. National savings is private savings plus government savings, which means it's going to be income plus transfer payments minus taxes minus consumption plus whatever government savings is, which is taxes minus government spending minus transfer payments. Now there's going to be a lot of cancellations here. We have get positive transfer payments here, negative transfer payments here, so let's just go ahead and cancel those. We have positive taxes here and negative taxes here. So let's just cancel those. And so what we're left with is national savings 
national savings is income minus consumption minus government. In fact, I'm going to erase things and make that a little bit more explicit up here. So you just bear with me a second while I erase this. National savings boils down to income generated in the economy minus consumption minus government spending. Okay? And so national savings is the sum of two things, private savings and government savings, and that boils down to income minus consumption minus government savings.